Hi guys, it's me Alicia and I am going to be sharing with you guys a project. I spent a month making this um, explosion box and it's an explosion box mini album. I want you guys to like see all the angles and I don't do mixed media very well. I'm, if anything, I'm just learning how it all works. It's a lot of fun. Um, blending mediums is still something that I'm learning to work with because I'm trying to blend like acrylic paints with sprays and ink of gold, and it doesn't all blend together if you don't do it the right way. You know, it's like it's easy to blend a spray with a spray, but when you blend a spray with acrylic paint, in metal paint it's obviously more challenging so but it was a lot of fun i mean i just loved gluing all the stuff doing the textures painting it making it look just rough and trying to put things that would look like they're going together when they're not it was just like i just loved it i mean and I was able to, I gessoed, obviously I had to glue everything. Then I gessoed it and I put a, a few layers of paint. As you can see on, um, like with the camera and with the lighting, you can see some of the white spots. But I'm kind of like that. I'm not too, like I didn't really want to cover everything. I thought it was supposed to be rough. Look rough and kind of dirty. So uh, this is the front of the box and as you can see that is the graphic 45 and eerie tail i think that's how you say it and this is a michael's um, frame and i just put some of the paint that i used for it and this is more um, stenciling with gesso this is that um burlap stencil from tim holtz just love how that looks and I even put my metals all throughout so anyway I am in um and I swap with this amazing 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 crafter um her youtube is el el baul de exo exo and I'll go ahead and link her up because she is so talented she does not speak on her videos the, um there's cap and pictures and she does show things but she is so amazing you guys have to check her out like she doesn't even need to speak for you to be able to admire all of her work she is just so talented and I was just so honored that she um, agreed to swap with me and we decided to do a box and a mini album well I got uh, the idea of just making a box with a mini album inside so I wanted to make an explosion box a mini album but I closed the box all the way through now um like I said I used the she's really steampunk I used the eerie tail graphic 45 and it was really hard it was really hard for me to not use like my pinks my laces my shabby this was a challenge for me but i was so like i wanted to do this because i really wanted to swap with her and this is kind of like her style and for me i figured it would be a challenge and it would just be a way to learn to you know step out of my comfort zone so here it is um i'm hoping it explodes the way i wanted to but um so it's just what i was afraid of i i was afraid that like you know if you open it that it wouldn't like super explode on me but i was also i wanted to keep it s as simple as possible so the paper could be um admired because this is anybody that hasn't seen the new graphic 45 it's kind of like their christmas their christmas their um halloween paper I didn't want to make it Halloweenish. I don't know. I don't even know if she likes Halloween all that much, but I really didn't want to make it Halloweenish. So, um, it was it was quite a challenge to keep the the graphic forty five Halloween and then kind of step away a little bit from it. So let me show you guys what I did. I'm trying to remember where the front is, and because there's really no front or back, because they they both go they both they go both ways. So, um, 
these are should probably try to give you guys a better view, view of this evening. so Of course, I wish I had a better setup. There we go. I think that might work, actually. Let's see. All right, so these are just like the cover pages, and I was thinking about covering the the cardstock, but then I thought um, it's just kind of going to be like it's going to be base the base anyway. So I, I figured I'd keep it unfinished because it's, you know, you're not really going to see it. As soon as it explodes, it opens and it's kind of like being, you know, the more paper I put in here, the, the harder it would be to close it. So I just, I wanted to keep it that way. But so here it is. The fronts have to um, pull out tabs. Now, what I, one of my missions for this, and this is the, um, there's pockets like in all of it. One of my missions for this was to be able to utilize one full paper pad. And if I used the 12 by 12, I knew that I would have to make a humongous album. So I took an eight by eight pad and I literally used everything like the cover. That's what I put on top of the box. It's everything is has been utilized for this mini album. I didn't waste anything. And then I'll show you guys in a little bit what I mean. So my brilliant idea. And then here's the other side too. And it's supposed to fold both ways. But I'm still breaking in all the glue. There's like pockets everywhere. And this is also a pullout tag because there's pockets on the side of every one of those so i did and i had to do a lot of like layering because when i was cutting small pieces then i had to turn a lot of these into pockets and um so i could make you know the most of, of the paper now that the thing that got a little challenging and i got a little too greedy on this one but i I'm, i really wanted to kind of give it a try I put, made windows in all the pages. So there's acetate in there and I wanted you to be able to pull it out and still see the beautiful graphic 45 paper, both sides. And, and one thing that was super painful for me was to cover up the back side and have to cover like use two sides, but I also put them on cardstock. So obviously I wasted that double-sided of each one but oh well then i took my medals and i took a little a little image from one of them they're like those ticket images and i made i turned it into the like the pole for them and another thing that i really enjoyed about this it's putting corners I took one of my medals that was a circle, cut it in four pieces, and then just glossy accented. Um, let's see if I can show it to you guys like this. It might be better if I get a better view. So every single one of these has a pocket. And then it pulls out. So you can see it on the one side on the window. Here's another one. They pull out. So these are pretty much a picture tags. You put a picture in there, pull it out, put it back in, and then you can see your picture through the acetate. And there's also the back page. They all have like little pockets with um, images from the tags from the collection. And I mean, this paper was, now some of them are on this side, so like this one. Is on the side is the, the pull out uh, picture tag. Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta unplug my phone because it's saying it's getting too hot to be 
charging. All right. And I'm holding, I'm trying to like, I was trying to hold on to the camera because I don't want the camera to flip. It's just sitting on top of a box, but I really do want to use both hands. So here it is again. I put um, metals pretty much on every single one of them. And oh, I'm sorry, I'm afraid my phone is trying to turn off on me. So, okay, I'll just hurry up. It's saying it's too hot. Um, let me see if I can turn off. Maybe that will do it. I don't want this. I don't want to lose this footage. So, um, when pretty much every single page is like that, it's, it's just, it's just a little different. And it was just a lot of fun. There's another image and pull out, pull out tags on every single page. It was fun. It was a pain. Here's that one of the sites. I just made a tag. So this is what I did. On all the tiny to little pieces that I had left, I created like a puzzle and try to make them all go together and ink them and stuff because I wanted to make sure that I used every single piece of paper. Because I just, I love graphic 45 that much. You can't just waste it and throw away the tiny little pieces that you don't use. And then on the last one, here's another here's another one i did another little little piece of art and then there's like a belly band so she can use that and here's a belly band she can use that for like a tag or putting pictures or whatever she wants to do it in there and of course i wanted to put um pictures throughout the whole thing but I also know not everybody. It's a shabby in flower. And I haven't really seen her use a lot of flowers on her project. So I just, I did this cool cluster of flowers. Just, I mean, there's flowers all over the paper as it is. And then um, on this one, I didn't show you guys, but I also made a little, a little mosaic, like little puzzle with all the like, like leftovers. I really didn't want to waste it, but I had so much fun using metals and all that stuff. That mixed media was really, really fun. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. This project, um, like I said, it's for a swap for a really sweet friend, and I really hope that she enjoys it too. Um, but go ahead and uh, post your comments. I love to hear what you guys have to say i this is obviously not my area of expertise so i'm always a little self-conscious about the project that that i'm just not feeling like you know very creative with but i love to hear your comments and see what you guys have to say so go ahead and subscribe if you want to be watching um these videos i will be making some tutorials soon i think i'm gonna try to stick to a tutorial a week because i really want to get back into making more videos for you guys so thanks for watching bye